Hi everyone, it's Natasha again, and today I'm going to show you uh, the Fry Melissa Satchel, which I just recently acquired. Um, my husband and I were shopping in New York City over the Christmas holiday for his Christmas slash birthday present. He was looking for a leather bag, and so we went into the Fry store where they have wonderful leather goods, and while he was picking out his bag, I was perusing the other stuff in there including their boots and their accessories um, and their bags. And I'd never really taken a very close look at Fry bags, primarily because the they are more of a rustic look, um, beautiful leather, but more distressed and more rustic. And it never really seemed to fit into my wardrobe. So I never seriously looked at them, but when I was in the store, I got a closer look. And this is the bag that I picked up. So this is the Melissa Satchel. Um, they have two different versions of this bag. There is the distressed or washed leather version, which comes in a number of colors. That's what you see on the right, and that is in the ice color, which is like a gray. And then on the left is the smooth leather version, which only comes in black. Um, and that one obviously has a smoother leather. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the features of the bag, and then I'll get into the pros and cons of, of the bag. Um, in terms of size, the bag is 14, 14 and a half inches long by nine inches tall or high by six inches deep at the base. The handle drop, it's got handle straps, it fits six and a half inches. It also has a shoulder adjustable shoulder strap which adjusts from about 19 inches to about 22 inches long. So you can wear it both as a shoulder, uh, shoulder bag and as a crossbody bag. It has a zipper closure. Um, and I'll show you the interior. It does not have feet. There are no feet on this bag. It, there are no exterior pockets. Um, inside this bag, uh, it has, it's got a cotton lining. The ice color has like a beige cotton lining with gray pinstripes. It has a zipper pocket here on one wall. On the other wall, it has two slit pockets and it has a key leash on the inside. The black one, my stuff is in here, but it has a darker lining. It's like a dark brown with black stripes. Same pocket configuration, and there is no key leash on the, the black one. Um, so pros and cons of this bag, um, the size and the shape are a definite pro. It fits everything that I need to carry on a regular basis. It's an east-west profile, which means that it's, it's longer rather than taller, and it means I can find everything, even in this black one, which I have been carrying. It's got the dark liner, which I usually don't like, but I'm able to find everything with ease because of the, of the shape of it. It's more, it's more, it's not, it's shallow. It's a shallow bag. So I'll just show you really quickly what I was able to, what I'm able to get in here. And as you can see, I have quite a bit in here. I've got my, my iPad with a um, case on it. I've got my wallet, my planner, a catch-all pouch, my pencil pouch. I've got my key play. I've got some coin purses in here, my glasses cleaner. They've got some personal products in the zip pocket, my lotion. I could also fit, and this is not even completely full because what I do carry on a regular basis, I carry my gloves, I carry a pair of earmuffs, I can fit a water bottle in here, I can fit a small umbrella. It carries, it, it, it holds quite a bit, um, and it's really quite a practical bag. Um, so for that reason, I really like it. It is a full grain leather. Uh, which I should have mentioned earlier, but it's a full grain, what they call pull-up leather, which from what I understand is a, a, um, it's a cowhide that is stuffed with oils, which means that um, when you move, when you kind of like manipulate the leather, it takes on, you'll see some of the oil will move around underneath the surface. And that means that the bag takes on your characteristics of, um, you know, becomes more personalized to you. I think that's how they sell it. Now on this distressed, version of the bag you can see it's already distressed for you so it's got color variation it's got wrinkles it's like softened leather it's made to look like as if you this is your favorite bag and you've been wearing it carrying it for a long time the distressed leather is quite nice the only thing I would mention is that if you are someone who hates scratches this might bother you because it does scratch pretty easily as you can see right here now you can get the scratches out with a little bit of heat and some friction from your finger and you can also probably get it out with some um, leather conditioner if you wanted to. But if that's something that bothers you, then you might want to go with the uh, smooth version, which really does not show scratches at all. So you can see the difference. It's smooth leather. There are no 
color variations, no wrinkles. It's just completely smooth all the way around. So this might, scratches bother you, you might want to go with this one. Um, colors. The distressed leather, the washed leather version comes in like three or four different brown, shades of brown. Um, it comes in almost like a black brown. It comes in ice, which is like gray. It has like a reddish color. It's a pink one. A lot of different colors. And um, this one only comes in black. So um, a couple of other things I wanted to note. The zipper on this bag, when I first got it on the black one, it really stuck. It was very, it sticks. And because as you can see, it, it curves upward. There's like a joint here where the zipper meets the bag and it seems to catch on that. Um, that can be a little annoying. And you can see it's doing this. This ice one is newer, so I haven't used it as much. I noticed with the black one, it did the same thing. It started to um, loosen up a little bit. And so maybe the same thing will happen here. I have treated it with some wax paper and that helped a little bit. But the only thing that I worry about is the joint here. I wonder if I, I could see the zipper separating because it does really put stress on the zipper at that place, especially when you close it, you can see it's like pulling together. So that's just something that I'm watching out for. Um, the other thing about the washed version that I noticed, there is an odor to it. And I'm not sure if that's because they, whatever they treat it with to make it have that distressed look. Um, I would characterize it as like a kind of smelling a little bit like bleach. Um, which it's not overwhelming to me, but it is noticeable. And I, when I looked at, read some of the reviews, there were some people that found it to be way too strong and they returned it for that reason. Um, for me, I just got the ice color and what I'll probably do is let it air out a little bit to see if the smell dissipates. But if it doesn't, I'm not sure I'll keep it here just because it, it's not, like I said, it's not offensive, but it's, it's noticeable enough. And it's not a smell I just want to be smelling all the time when I'm carrying my bag. Um, but other than that, I love this bag. I think it's quite good quality leather. Um, it is full grain, which is nice. Um, and it looks very well constructed. The stitching looks nice. The hardware, it's like a nickel hardware, which is quite nice. Um, I would have liked for them to do something a little poppier on the black, like maybe a shiny hardware would have been nice just because the black is such a plain looking bag that would have been nice to have something would give it some pop. I think it look, works really well with the distressed leather, however, but it is nice and chunky. The uh, detachable strap has like this nice, really firm and chunky um, lobster claw clasp that's easy to take on and off. Um, the zipper pulls are nice. So it's, um, it's just a nice bag all around. Uh, so if you're interested in a new bag, you might want to check out the Fry Melissa Satchel. I know that they're selling it uh, at the frycompany.com web website. Um, it's, it is quite pricey. It's $388. Um, you can get them. There's certain department stores, I believe, that sells the Fry bag. Uh, Nordstrom, uh, I think maybe, maybe Dillard's. And I know QVC sells it as well, which is nice because you can get it on easy pay. And on QVC, I just looked. There are a couple colors that are on sale. So... Um, you might want to check that out. Um, anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful to you if you're looking for a bag or interested in the Melissa, the Fry Melissa satchel. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Just comment below and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.